YouTube 22k welcome back to another video and um, yeah we're gonna soft mod PS2 or PS2s um, there'll be some details in the description uh, essentially look this isn't ideal for everybody this is more for the sort of collectors that want to play uh, import games it will allow you to play backups of both PS1 and PS2 um, there are some uh, restrictions in terms of which PS2s it works with the slims are far better um, the fat ones so these are like the model the 5000 series it will play it will mod the, the region um, it will play the region that you mod it for in terms of PS1 games um, so that, yeah like I said some restrictions the slim models are far more um, flexible in terms of what you can play which is basically it will chuck anything at it what this basically does it's called mecha porn and it turns the ps2 into basically a dev kit so uh, like i say the slims will play uh, backup ps1 backup ps2 and obviously original ps1 ps2 across all regions the fats will play um backups but for the region that it's set to so if you've got a pal fat ps2 you can set it to a dev one it will play backup PS1s, but they have to be the PAL region backups. So you can't play, um, you know, like a Japanese original PS1 in a in a soft modded fat, which is really eh, you know, a bit of an irk. But having said that, the slim ones are probably you know a bit more hardy in terms of the disc drives anyway. So like I say, I'll, I'll probably there'll be some jump cuts here because you don't want to see me powering things on and off. But essentially. You know, this has not been opened up. We've not done anything to it. Uh, this is a 7,077, so 7,000 series. And, um, yeah, just to show you initially, we'll power it up. We'll, uh, oh, and what, obviously what you need is uh, a free boot. And obviously you need a USB drive with the mecha porn, um, app on it or whatever they want to call it file so let, just just to show you this is not reading Japanese games hello there you go doesn't work okay right turn that off so boot up, shrink boot, your pen drive, there we go. So all you need to do is we're going to go to launch ALF. Let's try and keep it steady. Out of practice for these old videos. Uh, file browser. So we're basically browsing to the mass storage devices, which is um, essentially the USB drive. And there we go, look, mechporn.alf. Or mecha porn. I'll put all this in the description. It's dead easy to do, guys. Um, the only weird anomaly I found with this is uh, we want to create a backup, so we want to do that. So X to select. Um, you have to change the region, and I'll show you that. So th this is what you need to do. Literally, you have to do what it says here as well. Unplug it so back in a sec, yeah. So I've had to, unplugged it, plugged it back in again, so it's loading back up. Um, but yeah, you have to change. So this is a PAL machine, but when I turn it into a dev kit, I'm going to change it to a US model. Um, it, for some reason, it, it, it's just a weird quirk of it. I, I just can't get it to work any any other way out. So it doesn't matter, doesn't matter at all. But what it does do for. Um, Does allow you to obviously to, to play all the all the uh, different iterations, backups, and different regions. I say the backups aren't really a thing for PS One. Let's be honest; it's more going to be for the collectors to play the, them import games. So again, we're running it again. So now you've got different screens. Let's change region. So we want to change the region. So CX is not CX shop. 
that's just like um, the default retail version and then you've got Dex which is the development one so that we want we want the development one um, so this is a 7000 let's just check the number it was 77 wasn't it so if you have a look 77 so we want to keep it as a 77 so you do select now what I'm going to do so obviously you could say 7730 for the UK but for some reason I just find it better it just works better when you set it to US uh, force unlock install force unlock I wouldn't do this this basically makes it think that every single disc is a, a PS2 disc and it can break DVD playback so we, you don't need it for what we want to do on this unplug the power again so we've unplugged the power we're going to take out Controls and what you can do, I should have shown you this before, but you can just check as it loads up. If you press the triangle for version, you can you see the model number there, the console version, that's DTL now. So that's how you kind of know it's 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 worked. So again, back to what we did. Let's grab a copy of Dino Crisis Japanese. I haven't got any um import PS2 games or backup PS2 games fully enough. Um so I, technically I haven't tried it, but the fact that these work, you know, shouldn't be an issue, he says. And there we go. And that's how you soft mod a PS2. And don't forget we changed that to US, not to Japanese. There you go. So let's just just to be hundred percent sure. Let's reboot. We'll take Dino Crisis out. We've got us a backup from years ago, funky backup Chrono Cross, which is US. Funny enough, I have got an original US, so we can just try that. Just for the skeptics out there, I'm not going to point you at the screen because there's not a great deal to see. Although even pointing you at the floor is probably not a great deal to see either. But yeah, other than the little quirks of changing the regions, and there you go, it's booting that back up. You don't have to piss about, you don't have to do any modding, you don't have to do any soldering. I say, the slims are far better, they're far more flexible than the fats. Um, it's not, like I say, it's not really for playing backups nowadays, is it? Let's be honest, there's, there's better ways of doing that. Um, but it's just certain people that have got a collection that want to collect for the import stuff, the US, the Japanese ones. And you don't have to piss about with import machines or get them modded and uh, that's how you do it essentially so just again for completeness sake let's get original us one i say the only thing i haven't got is um any ps2 re um, different regions or backups um but i see no reason why and again it's booting so I hope you find that useful guys, I'll put some details down below, some of the, the sort of restrictions in terms of what you can do, you know, like I say, with the, with the fat PS2s, they're, they're, not, um, they're not as flexible, but uh, the slim ones seem to be the way to go, and let's be honest, you know, in terms of the, the drives and stuff, and reliability, these are a, a far better option anyway. Take it easy YouTube, and I'll speak to you soon, bye bye.